Hey friends, how are you guys doing today? I hope you're doing so, so well, and I'm so excited for today's video. We are at Second Avenue Thrift Store. It is my favorite thrift store in my area. I'm going to the one that's outside of Baltimore, and I always find so many good things here. Most notably, recently I found a vintage John Paul Gaultier dress from the 90s, a mesh dress here for $7, and I resold it within one week for $500, and so this is literally my favorite place. It is my honey hole and today they're having two different colors that are both half off so I'm really excited to go in and see what I can find to resell and of course I'll take you guys in with me as well I've also got GU here she is a little bit off camera so she and I are gonna go and look together and this is also her first American thrift store experience so I'm excited to show her what I do for a living and it's gonna be a great time so let's go in together and see what we can find there's your head there she is. She's looking at Second Avenue. Okay guys, we are back home and I literally feel like I hit the jackpot. I feel like I always hit the jackpot when I go to 2nd Avenue. I just always have such a great experience. And also this was GU's first American thrifting experience. It's, it's not something that she is used to at all. And she had a great time. She actually, it was hard to get her to leave. So I think she'll probably want to be going back thrifting with me again here soon. But I ended up picking up this whole rack of clothes behind me, plus I think like five or six different pairs of shoes on the ground, plus a purse. It was so good. So I spent around $98 and I got, I think, 28 items in total. I even down the cost. I took the $98 that I spent and I divided it by the 28 items I bought and we spent about $3.50 per item, which is an amazing cost of goods, especially at any normal thrift store. But this place is always good for deals. Some things are really marked up, but also they always have a different color of the day. So I try to look for things that are on sale and I also have a loyalty card with them. So I usually get some pretty good deals. So excited about the pieces I picked up. Some new to me brands that I'm so jazzed about. I found some good bread and butter brands. I found a lot of really nice designer brands. And so it's gonna be a good haul. 
first up I have this beautiful dress here and guys GU was like a little like bloodhound out on the scent at the thrift store she asked me what brands she should look for for me and I tell you guys I had my own cart but she was every few minutes bringing me just piles of clothes to look through one of the brands I told her to be on the lookout for was Diane von Furstenberg and she found me a Diane von Furstenberg dress like, okay, GU, we see you, right? This is a beautiful little ruffled dress from Diane von Furstenberg. We have that more like see-through transparent sleeve. I feel like for the life of me, I can't get the camera to focus on this tag, but this is the Diane von Furstenberg tag. It's in a size two, which is I think a size four to six for a normal um, American sizing. And it is 100% silk, I believe. So I looked in the inside and they always have the dvf tags here on the inside yep 100 percent silk and then this is called the simonia yes the simonia dress so i do have a name i have a beautiful dress and the last diane von furstenberg dress i sold sold for i think a hundred dollars so if we can sell this one for a hundred dollars that will almost pay for the whole haul so i love it when i'm able to find really nice pieces that can sell for that amazing like a hundred dollar amount that's really what I like to do when I'm at a thrift store that's not the bins. If I can aim for making 75, 100 bucks off of something, like, that's wonderful. Now, guys, I'm so excited about this. I found this in the dress section, and I've never found this brand before. I know a lot of people have found it, and I am always so jealous. I just have never seen it. This is a really cute little short dress. I know it has a little spot on here. I'm going to try to get it out. It's a polyester dress. It has this kind of fun sleeve with the ruffle at the end. But guys, it, oh, let me show you the back. And then it has this really fun low scoop back with this little string that goes across. But this is from the ever elusive Show Me Your Moo Moo brand. I'm so excited, guys. If you know anything about resellers, I feel like everybody's always finding this brand. And I have never found it myself. I'm so excited about it. It was $5.29, but it was half off. So I got this for like $2.50 or something crazy. And this is the Show Me Your Moo Moo little tag. I don't know why my camera's not focusing on the tags it usually does, but there is the dress. It's this nice dark purple. It's in a size medium. And Show Me Your Moo Moo is apparently a good reseller. I didn't even look it up. I was just so excited to have found it at $2.50. I could not leave it there. Then this is another beautiful dress I found. This is a one shoulder, kind of unique one shoulder. It's almost a little bit more geometric here at the top. Little peplum dress. And this is another great brand and something that I've been learning more about. And that is the brand Halston. So Halston is different from H by Halston. H by Halston is not really worth that much. This is by the brand Halston Heritage. And Halston itself is much better. It's a very nice brand. And I think it's also a designer. I learned about it from LA Frock Stars. I've really gotten into that show and I'm sad that it's over. Um, but I've learned a lot about like older designers from that. But Halston is a really nice brand. H by Halston, not so much. That's definitely a diffusion line. Now, this has a tag on it where this was being sold for $29.99. I'm thinking that was another like consignment store, a thrift store of some sort, because it also has the original Halston little black tag attached to it. So I think it was never worn. This side is the side that doesn't have a strap, but it's also this little like, you know, hanger the clothes hanger part is broken so I had to tie it into a little knot but it is a nice dress and this is in a size six and it's just really well structured there is so much fabric here that's like nice and thick it almost feels a little neoprene but it's not it's dry clean only it has a zipper on the side and then it also has where the zipper is to get you in and out this peplum actually has little snaps on it so you can undo the peplum to get in and out too, which I think is very, very smart. So super cute little dress. Hopefully some of Halston pieces can go for a good amount. I'm hoping for this one to sell at around 75 to $100. So I'm excited about it. Some Halston heritage pieces did go for a good amount. H by Halston, not as much. Halston itself, really good. So we'll see what it does. This is my first ever time picking it up and I'm kind of just interested to see how we can do with it oh my gosh I forgot I got these I, I, you know I didn't forget but like I didn't know where I put them in the haul 
and these were such a good exciting find i saw the seven for all mankind poking out i always check this brand when i'm in the jean section because you never know when it's gonna be a dojo and guys today i found another dojo i'm so excited seven for all mankind jeans can do well mostly it just base it just depends on the style and this one is like the popular style from them it always sells well for me this is in a size 25 so they're pretty small the last two or three pairs i sold were 27 28 and 29 i believe and those all sold within a day for around 70 dollars so they're a very popular style they have the seven on the booty and then some for all mankind has a big like kind of flared leg to it these are in good condition i think i've sold this exact same pair before in a different size so i might already have the stock photo for these and these were marked at five dollars five dollars and 79 cents oh yeah for sure and with my low average cost of goods i paid what three dollars and 50 cents for these and i'm sure i can sell them for at least 60 dollars and hopefully in only a few days, a uh, week at the most. So those need to get listed, need to get put up before the end of the month. Because this month is actually looking really good for me. It's the best looking month I've had in so long. So I'm really happy with how sales are going this month. Let me know how your sales are going if you are a reseller. I know with us heading back to school, I think that's what's really turning the tide. Even though the economy is not that great, I think that... Back to school shopping is still a necessity and so people are finding some beautiful items. Now, this is a skirt and guys, I feel like people were hiding things in the legging section. I don't know why. I went over there to look for Lululemon because I always have to and I ended up picking up this piece and another piece that were in the legging section but are definitely not leggings. This is a skirt and it's so cute. I love this kind of faux kind of wrap tulip style going on here. It has a little tie right there. But this is so beautiful. And I saw this tag. And the tag looked really nice. I don't think I've ever picked up Oak before. But apparently it's a very nice brand. And this is in a size medium. It was marked at $3.99. And it's 100% silk. I didn't know it was 100% silk when I bought it. But it was a great price and such a cute style. I thought there was something special about it. It felt really nice. And then it also was a good brand. And a lot of their pieces were selling for like $35 to $50. So for $3.99, actually $3.50 at the end of the day, definitely worth it. And it also happens to be 100% silk. So I'm probably going to expect $50 to $65 maybe for this skirt. It's a really cute skirt. It looks like it's pretty generous in the sizing too, which is very nice. Has a nice stretchy waistband. Beautiful skirt. I think that would do super well going into fall. So again, I gotta get that one listed. But I thought that was a cute skirt. What do you guys think? And next up, I have a brand that I would, I've been really excited to find it, but I haven't actually sold anything from it yet. So maybe I need to stop picking it up, but it's a more formal dress and we're really heading into a more formal season. I know weddings do help with like formal dresses for a wedding guest, but also we're heading into like semi-formal and prom and all of those good things too. But this is, wow, a little wrinkled, but it's this beautiful dress with a little bit of a kick out right here at the bottom. A little flared and then we have kind of this lace detailing on the bodice it's kind of a unique lace i really like the kind of raised edges to it some ruching on the sleeves but this is from the brand badgley mishka so exciting badgley mishka makes very expensive dresses so i was excited to find this there and i have no idea how much i paid for it i always lose tags when i go to second avenue because i'm stuffing things in bags but I paid like $3.50 for this gorgeous dress and hopefully I can resell it for at least $75. I have two other Badgley Mishka dresses listed, but they're listed pretty high. I wonder if I just need to lower them a little bit. The combination is 100% silk and then something else is 100% acetate, but I'm not sure what piece. It's probably this, um, the sleeve texture and the like little belt texture, but this is silk. So it's very nice and it feels really good. It honestly looks a little bit um, like it's a little bit generous for a size two. Really pretty piece. I bet this looks phenomenal on <laughs> and I think it's really gorgeous. So for $3.50, heck yeah, maybe $100 for that dress as well. That would be so spectacular. And then now we have a more, you know, bread and butter piece for me. 
This is a pair of Free People jeans, and these are pretty cute. They're this interesting, like, hunter green color. I feel like they're coming off a little bit more gray on camera because I'm also wearing a very bright green, but these are a hunter green, like, very muted green color, and they're from Free People in a size 27. So that is what the tag looks like. And these were supposed to be like $10, but they were green tags, so they were half off. So that's great. And at first, I found two pairs of green Free People pants there, actually. But I was kind of like not super willing to buy them without looking them up because colored denim had a great moment when I was in high school, but I feel like it has not been having a moment lately. But green was actually a popular search for free people jeans. So a hunter green pair of jeans actually was doing really well with comp prices, at least on Poshmark. I found a couple comps for a lot of them being sold right around 50 bucks. So I was like, okay, well for five bucks, I'll get them then. So that was a good pickup in my opinion. But again, I really was thinking about just leaving them. So I'm glad that I looked them up. That's your reminder. Always look up your comps if you have a feeling about something. But then next up we have just this Peloton t-shirt. And I've never found Peloton anything. So I thought it was kind of fun. And it wasn't marked very high at all. It was $2.99. So this is in a Peloton size medium. Just a black t-shirt. I feel like somebody is totally gonna snatch this up to use on their Peloton. I don't know. I feel like there's a loyal following for Peloton in general. I might only be able to sell it for like 25 bucks. But I kind of wanted to pick it up because I've heard that Peloton can do really well. So maybe it'll sell quickly. That would be great. And I feel like a size medium is pretty common. So I'm not sure if I should have picked that one up actually. That's probably my least favorite piece of the haul. But I thought I should at least share it with you guys still. And now I just remember because I stepped on a pair of shoes, but I have so many pairs of shoes on the ground. So let me show you one of my favorites real quick. Now, these shoes, I saw this little symbol here on the bottom and I got so excited. That is the Tory Burch logo. And these are a pair of Tory Burch sandals and they were only marked at $5. <laughs> so great price, great pair of sandals. And I couldn't find a size anywhere on these. And I know Tory Burch is notorious for like, notorious, <laughs> stop Becca, um, for having hard to find tags and like sizes, but I tried them on and they actually fit me perfectly. So these are a size nine pair of kind of golden little strappy sandals. Your big toe goes right here. And then these are just really gorgeous on actually all these straps. So picked these up. I did not look up comps. Um, but I knew I was going to pick up a pair of Tory Burch sandals for $5. I've sold a few pairs of Tory Burch. I've sold a pair of Tory Burch sandals before for, I think, $80. And another pair of Tory Burch shoes, a couple of the Riva flats for more like, you know, $50, $70. So I'm assuming I can sell these for at least 50 bucks. If not, if the comps don't look good, I'll just keep them for myself and have a nice pair of Tory Burch shoes, which is not the worst thing in the world but I was excited to find the brand. Super excited about those sandals. And I was really, I felt like I was really hitting the jackpot on shoes. These are a cute little pair of black ballet flats. I really like this like velvety detailing here at the toes with this really fun little, not buckle, but like gold detailing. These are from the brand Cole Haan and they're in really good condition. I do pretty well with reselling Cole Haan and I do see a lot of it at the thrift store. It must be a very popular like workwear brand, but these are in great condition and they were green tags. So even shoes are half off if they're the right color. So these were less than $3 and I got these in a size, I think these are a size nine too. Yeah, so these are also a size nine, so a good size. And I am thinking that I can probably, I looked at comps first before I bought these of course. And the comps looked like they were reselling around $50 as well. So for less than three bucks, I thought that those were a fun little ballet flat. And I like this style where they have the stretch there. Makes them very comfortable. So I grabbed those to resell. And then GU also found this for me. She had never been to Madewell until we went shopping, I think last weekend, a couple days ago, we went shopping. I took her into some of my favorite stores. So like Madewell and Anthropology and Lululemon, things like that. And so then when she was thrifting and looking for things for me, she found this and she knew I was gonna like it because this is a gorgeous little 
Madewell plaid dress and it's a very unique shoulder situation. I feel like I remember when this came out. I follow Madewell pretty um pretty much all the time. So this is a very interesting like style for a shoulder. It would look horrible on me. I just know it. Just it's not a friend of wide shoulders. This would make you look like a box. But if you did not have wide shoulders, this could be really cute. So I'm sure I'll be able to find a stock photo of this. I did try it on and it was definitely not my size. I could get it on, but it was not good. So I'm thinking it's probably a size 10. It doesn't have a size anywhere. Not a size 12. I would guess a size, it could be a size 12 actually. 10 or 12, but it doesn't have a size tag in it. And also the inside tag has been cut out, which is really unfortunate, but it is from Madewell. And I love this pattern and the crazy thing about this too is they might have thought this was a shirt because it is pretty short because they only marked this at five dollars and 49 cents so most dresses there start at like seven dollars but their tops start lower and this is such a fun nice fall color i love the gingham it's absolutely adorable so i'm really happy with that piece and g you found it I was so proud of her. She found a Diane von Furstenberg dress on her first time at the thrift store with me and a Madewell dress. Like, girls got skills. <laughs> now, I always go and sort my cart over by the dressing room and like the dressing room put back rack so I have easy access to get rid of empty hangers, things like that. But while I was there, I saw these boots <laughs> sitting on the children's section of the shoes and I recognized this back tag when I was going to put back another pair of shoes. Can you see this? It says air. I always cannot even tell what it says. Honestly, it's like air wave or something like that. These are a pair of kids Doc Martens that I found in the kids section. Just I just happened upon them. They're this kind of like mermaid holographic like dot on them. They have some dirt on them. I'm going to just wash them. And then the bottoms are, you know, the common Doc Martin bottom. And these are in a size UK 13, a US size one. These are the Delaney from Doc Martens. And I'm just like in awe that I found a pair of Doc Martens at the thrift, honestly. They were only $4.49. I ended up paying $3.50 for them, which is absolutely insane. And because they're also a kid pair, they do have a zipper on the side. So really great find. They're in great condition on the bottoms. And it just looks like they've been worn, you know, lightly. And I feel like some girl is going to love these pink lace-up Doc Martens for fall. Like, back to school time? This is so cute. I don't know how big a size one is. They look kind of large. These can't be, like, small kids. These are big kid size, right? Size one. So, I mean, if I could make even 40 bucks off of those, that'd be really exciting. So, aren't those cool? Like, I found a pair of Doc Martens. How exciting. And then next up, I feel like this haul is quite popping. Like it is popping off. I'm really happy with it. And this dress adds to the popping factor. This is a gorgeous sequin beaded dress. It is absolutely stunning. It has so many good details going on. And I say sequin and beaded because it has both. There's sequins here, there's beading here. There's a lot of nice structure going on that's created only with those sparkly accents, which is really fun. It's a little bit of a smaller dress. I think this is a size two. Yep, it's a US size two. And it is by the brand Aiden Maddox. I feel like I have found a couple of Aiden Maddox dresses lately. And I don't know why. They're always at this store. And this was also an orange tag, so it was half off. It was supposed to be like $17. It was high, but I paid like $8 for this dress. That is a heck yes from me. Aiden Maddox dresses like this, things that are beaded or sequin can go for like over a hundred dollars. So very excited to have found this. And I think that I should be able to get around a hundred dollars for it because it is a good color and a good like nice sequins. I don't see any patches where they're missing. And so I think that I can do pretty well with it. Okay, another pair of shoes that I'm absolutely obsessed with. These are kind of in my size and I kind of want to keep them, but I am not going to because they're too nice for me. I'm just a lowly thrifter. I cannot, I can't deal with how cute these are. Um, but before I show them to you, if you guys are enjoying today's 
thrift with me thrift haul if you think this is as popping as i do make sure to give today's video a thumbs up and also if you're not already subscribed hit that subscribe button we're getting so close to 6,000 subscribers which is so exciting for me but this is a really cute pair of wedges with a leather upper and i just love the design of these i think they're so nice and they're from one of my favorite brands to thrift which is vince now originally these shoes cost hundreds of dollars i'm positive and i got them for five dollars at the thrift store which is so great these are in great condition there's nothing like wrong with them at all there's only light wear on the bottom here and these are in a U.S. size 9 or a European 39, which happens to be my size. Also, I feel like every single pair of shoes I picked up was in a size 9. So I feel like maybe I found some lady's whole shoe collection that she was donating and just happened to love everything she owned. Um, but yeah, maybe I'll wear these just like to church or something once before I sell them. Nah, I'll just sell them. Maybe that's fine. Um, but these are really nice and they're a nice tan leather up here and it's kind of an interesting look to them too because it's longer on one side so it's a little asymmetrical which I think is really cool so I'll probably resell those for 50 to 75 dollars I'll have to look up comps I didn't even look them up I knew I was buying them for five dollars in my size from Vince it was a no-brainer had to get them and then next up we have some more pants this is a pair of Madewell jeans that I was excited to find, but these are also exciting because they are maternity jeans. So these are the maternity skinny jean and they're in a women's size 28 and they just look like a normal, you know, Madewell jean. It's just like a little bit different here in the front. It's a little bit shorter, not as high-waisted. And then we have the stretchy panels. Honestly, would these be really comfortable to wear even if you weren't pregnant? I feel like they would be. But they're in great condition, hardly any wear. And some Madewell maternity jeans were going for something crazy like $70 or $80. So I grabbed those. They were a good price, $350 for those. And then I also found a pair of Athleta leggings. I feel like these are going to be cropped or maybe a 7 8 length. But these have this kind of fun little like cutouts around the knees. Really fun coloring. We have some interesting just like details and seaming all the way throughout. They look like a really nice pair of pants and they also have I think a reflective stripe right there which is really good. I really enjoy selling Athleta. It does perform well for me. It's in a size medium. And again, I think that these were pretty cheap, which is why I grabbed them. And I can resell those probably. I'll probably put them up between 40 and 50 and then hope to resell them around 35 to 40. But I think I can get at least 35. And then we have two more pairs of shoes. I'm going to do these shoes first so I can just finish off the clothes that are on the rack. These shoes also, were these from the same person? These are the Darja, and they're in a size women's 10, but these are a pair of Donald J. Pliner shoes. Very interesting style. Some Donald J. Pliner shoes can sell for a lot of money. These ones look like they might be a little older, but the bottoms look a little scuffed, but they're in good condition, and they were a green tag. These were supposed to be $4, and I got them for $2. Like... I wasn't leaving them. If I found these in the bins, I would 100% pick them up. And these are in better condition than they would be in the bins. So I got these. They're in a size 10. And again, hopefully I can resell them and make around $40 to $50 from them. I think that it's a very interesting style. I love the shape of the heel. And then this is a little bit stretchy. I think it's going to look nice. So grab those. And then a brand that is a great bread and butter for me. Kind of maybe the wrong time to be trying to sell them. But I love to sell this brand, and that is Birkenstocks. I found a pair of Birkenstocks. They, I feel like, would definitely mark up Birkenstocks if they knew they had them. These are the Batula brand, which is actually part of the Birkenstock company. And most people just don't know that, and so they just don't mark it up as high, which is good for resellers like me. But these are from Batula, and they were $4.99. So 5 bucks for a pair of Birkenstocks. These are like a thong with a silver little leather piece here. They are made out of leather, which is good. And these are in a size women's 8 or a European 39. So, ladies size 8 pair of Birkenstocks. Again, great condition. They only have a little bit of a sign of wear right there, but they're pretty even. 
which I always see some uneven wearing usually in Birkenstocks, but these are really even and in good condition. So for these, I'll probably resell them right around $40. Sometimes I can get like 30 to 35, but at least 30 at the very low end, hopefully more like 40 for those. And then we had another new to me brand. I feel like I have heard other people pick this up, like heard about other people picking it up. But this is from the brand Sale to Sable, Sable? I'm not sure how to pronounce it. This is what the tag looks like. S-T-S. -S, sale to Sable? Sable? <laughs> Sable? I'm not sure. Oh, it smells so good. Okay. Um, but it's in a size large. And this brand apparently can do really well. It was marked at $6. And it was half off. So it was $3. And it's this navy blue and kind of neon greenish yellow striped t-shirt dress. Very soft, but this brand I saw was reselling quite a few times, right around 35 to 50 bucks. Has that cute little contrast little zipper right there. And I just thought that it was a nice little throw on dress and it was a great price. <laughs> the price really swayed me. It's very stretchy, it feels very comfortable. It is 87% rayon, 9% polyester, and 4% spandex. So super comfy dress. And apparently a good brand. The tag is really nice. The stitching on it looks really good. And so I grabbed that and hopefully we'll sell it for, you know, around probably 35 to 50 bucks. Hopefully around that $50 mark. And then this, oh, I did get a top. This is the top I bought. I was looking in tops while GU was trying on clothes in the dressing room. And I'm glad I did because I found this piece and I'm very excited about it. This is a really good brand. And the only time I've ever found it before this I think I found it twice, once at a buy sell trade store and once in the bins, but this is what it looks like. It is just a gray thin top with a very asymmetric side over here. This has more of like a lot going on. This side is more of just like a t-shirt. This is from the brand Helmet Lang. I got so excited because I've only found like two pieces from this brand before and I've had to pay up for it or I found it in the bins, which was fine, but it resells for so much money and it retails for so much money. So I was really pleased to have found this in the top section for the whopping price of $3.49. They had no idea what this was, which I'm fine with. Helmet Lang, I think, runs a little oversized is what I hear. Um, this was made in Korea, so that's exciting. And then it's 100% tensile. Tensile is a very nice fabric. Oh, they told me, okay, so they told me the style. I have a style number and the fabric is the opaque jersey. So very nice and soft piece, very interesting. I feel like once you see it on, it'll make more sense <laughs> and I will do some Google searching and find a stock photo, but beautiful piece, gorgeous, and at a great price, so happy with that find. Then next up is a dress that I found and also from Diane von Furstenberg. So I actually found three dresses, I think, from them in total. The two that I bought and then one was behind the counter and listed at like $70. Um, I didn't buy that one. But this one is a cute little dress. I'm assuming it's probably past the knee or at the knee. But it's this red kind of cheetah print kind of fabric with this ruching here on the side and a high neck. And then it actually has a lower V in the back, which I think is really cool. Diane von Furstenberg and it's 100% silk in a women's size 6. So that is what the tag looks like. And they are, DVF really makes some nice silk jerseys and some silk knits. And it looks like this is the Renee dress, R-E-N-E. -E. So I'm gonna have to do some research and figure out how much I can resell this for, but I thought that was a really fun piece. A little bit on the thinner side, but really unique and not something I would expect Diane von Furstenberg to make, to be honest but really classy as well. And I like the ruching here on the side. So grabbed that for who knows how much, but $3 and 50 cents at the end of the day, such a great pickup. Hopefully I can resell it close to a hundred dollars as well. And then we have another piece that GU found for me. And when she handed it to me, I could tell that it was nice and hefty. It had a good weight to it. It's a very, it really reminds me of sound and music kind of vibes. Like nice and breezy and easy to dance in. It's this gorgeous light orange color. Now, I don't know if I would call it a coral. It definitely is more orange in person, but this is from the brand Paper Crown. And at first glance, I really thought that this was 
a just like, you know, TJ Maxx Marshalls brand. But I didn't realize that T Paper Crown is actually an anthropology brand. So it's sold at anthropology. And this was $8.29, but it was half off. So I got it for four bucks less even when I had my discount on top of that. And it's just this really nice dress. So I'm hoping I can find a stock photo of it. That is my hope for everything I feel like this these days. But it has a slip underneath. And then it does say on here it's in a size 2. It's 100% polyester and it was imported for anthropology. Whoop whoop. So I enjoy reselling anthropology. I know not everybody does, but it's something that's pretty nice and easy for me. And so a nice little anthropology dress for this upcoming season I think will do well. It might sit around until next spring or summer, but... It was a great price and I really like that dress and I think it should do well eventually. Then next up I have a pair of jeans and this is an exciting find. I feel like I've really been finding a lot more Bowdoin lately, but I found a pair of Bowdoin jeans which was really exciting for me. I've never found a pair of Bowdoin jeans before. I've never found Bowdoin bottoms in general. <laughs> That's kind of hard to say, Bowdoin bottoms. Um, but I have found their dresses. These were marked at $6.79, but they were green, so they were half off, which is great. I paid less than $3 for them, which is phenomenal. And I know at one point I found a size on these. To be honest, I don't remember where it was. I knew it was somewhere strange, though. <laughs> but these also have a little button fly. They're a straight leg. Ah, I found it. These are in a US size 10. And they're 100% cotton and then just machine wash, which is nice. So a U.S. size 10 pair of jeans from Bowdoin. Great wash. Nice straight leg. Very popular right now. And some nice, like, kind of coloring on the back. I think they're really cute. For $3? Heck yes. And then we have a pair of vintage Hudson jeans. At least I think they're vintage. I cannot figure out why they would look different if not. These are an amazing pair of really flare leg jeans. They're really nice and loose throughout the whole thigh and then just really wide at the bottom in this kind of unique indigo color with patch pockets. And then this is what the Hudson jean logo looks like on these, which I've not seen before. I don't normally see this kind of a tag for Hudson, but it is confirmed. This is a tag I see all the time for Hudson. So very interesting. I don't even know if these have a size, but they were marked at $3.99 and they were a green tag. So I got them for $2 and $2 well spent. I sell Hudson jeans quite often. I know not everyone likes Hudson jeans, but I can do pretty well with them. And these are in a size 29 and these tags too even look old. Like I, if they feel old, I feel like this is definitely vintage right they're made in the usa size 29 and then i have a cut in a style as well i think that they're vintage i think that they're super cool and two dollars for hudson jeans i can sell them around like 30 to 50 dollars so hopefully i can make 50 bucks off of those jeans they're really really cute okay i have one more pair of jeans another pair of madewell jeans these are very nice they're the 10 inch high-rise skinny jeans in a size 28 and they, you know, are just a plain skinny jean with a raw edge hem. And I've sold so many pairs of Maple jeans and I love finding them. These are a darker wash, super nice, a little stretchy, and they should resell probably right around $40 is what I'm hoping for. I'll probably list them around $50 to $60 and then hope to make at least $40 at the end of the day. Super cute. These are in great condition. The back patch actually looks like it's impeccable, so doesn't look like they were worn very much at all. Make sure to take a second to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. But second to last piece is this dress that GU also found for me. She was doing a great job for her first time at the thrift. Has this kind of interesting gathering detail here at the front. It definitely has some sort of schmutz up there. I'm gonna get that out. It looks like it's just like deodorant. But this is from the brand Susanna Monaco. New to me brand, never heard of it. But GU found it and it was marked at like $6. So it wasn't very bad at all, but it did have some pretty good comps. I saw a lot of things that I'd sold from this brand at varying price points. And so I don't know if this was worth picking up or not. It's definitely a risk that I'm taking, 
but I would say that I'm going to hope to resell it at least 50 bucks. And this is 94% nylon and 6% spandex, and it's in a size small. And then the very last thing, oh, I also have a bag, not the last thing. The very last piece of clothing is this amazing pair of pants I found in the legging section. I feel like somebody was hiding them there. It looks almost like they've been tailored. I hope they haven't. I don't think they have actually. But it's this nice pair of high-waisted gold detailed, really nice dark blue jeans. I think maybe denim. But if you do you recognize that? If you don't, let's turn you around. Right here we have another logo and as well right here. I'm and these are from the brand St. John, which I love reselling. St. John sells really well. It sells for a lot of good money. These are from St. John exclusively for Neiman Marcus. I don't think that will change the price at all, but they're in a size four and somebody was hiding these bad boys in the legging section. They're a super fabulous pair of high-waisted pants and somebody was hiding those in that section. They were marked at $9, but they were green, so I got them for $4.50, less even with my other discounts. I've never found a pair of bottoms from St. John, so I'm excited to see how they sell, but I have found quite a few different St. John sweaters, and I think I've sold maybe a dress from them, but the sweaters generally sell around like $75, $90, $100. So the pants hopefully are more. I feel like jeans or bottoms in general usually are more expensive than tops. So I'm hoping for at least around $100. That'd be great. That's kind of me just guessing. I don't know for sure. But hopefully we'll see them in a what sold video soon. And then the very last thing that I picked up, I almost forgot it, was this blue bag. It has a crossbody strap. It also, it also has top handles. It's this nice blue, kind of like snakeskin feeling purse. And then can you tell what brand this is from this little emblem? This is a Brahmin bag, which is very nice. And then I, I was like a little hesitant. I was like, is this real? Because Brahmin bags are expensive and they can resell for over $100, sometimes like $200, $150. So I was like, you know, trying to make sure... The inside looks great. The inside feels great, I should say. And it has the name Brahmin repeating over and over again on the inside. We have extra pockets, a pen pouch, and then we also have a little, another little key clip right here. And then it also gives me Brahmin.com and a nice little interior tag that does point to it being authentic. We have another zippered side over here with a pouch that also also has the Brahmin interior. This feels like leather for the inside, like it feels high quality. And when I was looking up Brahmin bags to see if this was worth picking up, one of the main searches that came up was blue, like people were looking for blue Brahmin bags. So I thought this was worth picking up for sure. It also has the little gold feet here on the bottom. So hopefully for this bag, I can resell it around $150. That's what I'm hoping for. It's in great condition. There's just a little bit of like wear or just discoloration to the handles, but like, I don't even know if you can see it on camera. It's really, it's quite subtle and it is in great condition. So I grabbed that bag in a lickety split and hopefully between all of the shoes, the bag, the pants, the, the jeans, the dresses, the helmet laying top, I think we're looking at a lot of profit here. For only spending $98, I think that we can make a couple hundred dollars, probably like at least $500 is what I'm hoping to make from this haul, which would not be bad for a day's work at all. So that was the haul. That was the thrift with me. Did you guys enjoy yourselves? I hope you did. I had a lot of fun. I was at the thrift store for like four or five hours yesterday and I am exhausted from it. <laughs> so I think after this, I'm going to go take a small break and maybe sit down instead of listing all of these items. But I hope you guys enjoyed coming thrifting with me today. I hope you enjoyed the haul. Let me know down below which piece was your favorite. And thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate you guys being here. So I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. And until the next video, bye.